this session is Mohamed Khan. He received his master in electrical engineering from Florida State University. And he's currently pursuing a PhD in electrical engineering at the University of Utah and is part of the Utah Smart Energy Lab. His research interests include um, um, uh, uh, hardware in the loop, um, uh, power hardware in the loop testing of power systems and cyber physical security and resilience analysis of a smart grid. So. Thank you for introducing me, Hyro. Uh, today I'm going to present a cyber physical power system resilient testbed at uh, Utah Smart Energy Lab at University of Utah, and uh, I'm going to discuss about also its application. I would like to appreciate the contributors here, uh, Mehdi Ganchkani, our research professor, Hairo Giraldo, Mehdi Husseini, new graduate, and myself, uh, another you know, new, new PhD graduate, Alex Palomino, and our professor, Masud Parbaniya, and Luis Rodriguez. And uh, so, challenge of um, validating the, and testing the power grid operation. So, uh, we uh, the problem with the real power system operation is that we cannot get uh, we will get limited access of data. We cannot get numerous scenarios because we cannot play with the real power system, which will disrupt the normal operation of the power system. And there is also high risk for creating hazardous condition during testing and verification. And also uh, we cannot create false and uh, attack scenarios in real power system as always it will disrupt the normal operation of the power system. And also uh, it is hard to verify the innovative technology for power grid operation and also cybersecurity solution because uh, uh, we need to ensure th th those operations before integrating them to the real power system, otherwise it will create uh, difficult scenarios. So those are the challenges uh, with the real power system and for this reason for testing those uh, and verifying those strategies, we need to have a real uh, test bed with, uh, which can emulate or emulate the behavior of the real power grid. So this is the picture of our cyber uh, physical power system resilience testbed, CPSR testbed at uh, Utah Smart Energy Lab. Uh, we have uh, OpalRT as a digital real time simulator. We have uh, ACL protection relays, uh, 751, and uh, we have uh, real time automation controller RPAC. We have software different network switch, and we have power amplifier, which uh, helps to uh, test different devices. So it, uh, we have a battery energy storage with ACDC bidirectional converter, and we have visualizations. And our uh, professor Parvani has also planned to integrate other component to increase the functionality of the test bed, to increase the functionality of the test bed. And uh, so this is the architecture of CBSA test bed, as I discussed already. So we have Opalati, which uh, had the uh, capability to simulate the power system operation in real time, and uh, and it has also uh, analog and digital uh, interfacing, so it uh, enables to integrate them with the uh, production device SEL, so low voltage interface uh, connection. So SEL, we have a relay protection device SEL 751 with overcurrent control with uh, uh, with uh, with also low voltage interfacing capability. And we, it has also all communication protocols support. And we have the software different network switch, so it helps to configure the network, uh, network configuration, and it also duplicate the data packet, and it helps to inspect the data and uh, visualize, increase the visual, visibility of the data. And we have real-time automation controller, which is uh, the master of all the relays, so it collects all the data from the relays and uh, it has energy management. Uh, and we have a distributed controller as Raspberry Pi. So it helps to um, implement the local controller for the, the distributed energy resource. And it, it helps to implement a machine learning problem, a machine learning algorithm in the distributed controller. And uh, we have power amplifier, uh, which is uh, which emulate the behavior of the phase control voltage source so which helps to integrate uh, real devices so we have a real ACDC converter and we have battery connection with the power amplifier now i'm going to discuss uh, about the some application of our test bed for securing the power grid operation so uh, as this is not a real a physical power system so we can create numerous uh, fallen attack scenarios in the test system and we can 
evaluate their impact and also we uh, we can test the our innovative distribution grid controller before integrating them to the real power system and we can create uh, and generate uh, training and testing data for machine learning purpose uh, machine learning based algorithm and we can uh, uh, we can test uh, vulnerability analysis and implementation of real attack scenarios on the power distribution system. And uh, on top of that, we also can uh, test and verify the develop attack detection and localization strategies before integrating to a real power system operation. So yeah, this is the implementation of hierarchical, hierarchical control architecture in the CPS test bed. So we use uh, 33 node test system and we divided the test system in three different zones. So each zone has its local controller. Uh, those uh, local controls are implemented in three Raspberry Pis and uh, those zones are responsible for uh, for operation of the PV and energy storage. On top of that, there are central controller which coordinate the operation of the zones and also uh, all the protection device and which runs the main optimization algorithm. So now I'm going to discuss about the implementation of a digital twin for a power distribution system. So digital twin is the real-time replication of a power system operation, which is updated by the measured power data of the physical system. So, so for running a power distribution system, it has a measured load data and measured production data, and it, uh, it has a control command for running the operation of the distribution system. So digital twin is based on using the measured load data of the power distribution system and replicating the operational behavior of production devices. So, uh, so, and uh, it enables uh, numerous functionality, uh, including cyber physical analysis, uh, real time monitoring of the power distribution system, and uh, energy management. So, uh, this is a simple. Uh, this is the implementation of the IEEE 13 node test system in the CPSA testbed of a digital doing system. So as a test system, we use a uh, 13 node test system with two PB and uh, two energy storage devices. And this uh, this is implemented in the DRTS digital real time simulator Opala team. And it is connected with three distribution uh, to feeder production relay SEL 751, which are connected to the CB1, another one connected to the switch, another one is connected to the backup feeder CB2 and uh, those uh, and those relays are uh, communicating with the RTEC by using the GNP3 protocol and uh, and there is and this is the implementation of the digital twin system uh, with the by using the same architecture of the power distribution system and uh, it has uh, two PB two energy storage but uh, here we model the uh, operational behavior of the relays in the simulation environment so and the digital twin is updated in real time by using Modbus communication by using the meta measured data of the physical system and the and the simulated behavior, simulated data of the digital twin are used for energy management, cyber security, real time monitoring of the power distribution system. Um, so I'm going to discuss about the digital twin based cyber physical analysis for power distribution system. And uh, one of the application of the digital twin so uh, physical power distribution system so it collects all the data from the measured load and a production device for operation and control so this is like a typical architecture of a di distribution system and uh, i already discussed about the digital twin which replicate the operational behavior of power distribution system including control logic and device behavior it has virtual model of relay circuit breaker rtech and which is updated also real time in the by the measured data of the physical system to keep track the real power system operation and uh, it is uh, the more loads of the digital twin are modeled as dynamic load to follow the real power system operation and uh, this is the important part of for cyber physical analysis so cyber physical analysis you can see that it is collecting the data from the digital twin and also the physical system uh, of the production devices so those data are used to calculate the residuals so is the difference between the physical measurement of the real production device and the simulated data in real time of the digital twin of production devices. And these uh, residual data are used to calculate the chi-square score. Uh, here, mu is uh, mean of the residuals. 
and the sigma is the covariance matrix of the residuals. And this uh, detection square is used to calculate the attack on the power distribution system. So, which gives us more capability to follow the real power system with the digital pin operation and compare the behavior and compare the <coughs> discrepancy. So, and I already discussed the implementation here. So, we have physical power system with the power protection device, real-time automation controller and, and network switch. And we have the digital twin, which has the uh, similar power system architecture with the uh, dynamic load model, PVs, and edge storage, and virtual model of relay circuit breaker. And uh, this is the cyber physical analysis system, which is uh, connected to the digital twin and the physical system, and uh, collecting all the data simultaneously from the both system and analyzing the data for attack detection. So here we implemented the chi square based detection algorithm in the cyber physical analysis part of the architecture. So now I'm going to discuss some result uh, based on the digital twin system. So here I'm going to discuss attack on the relay connected to the circuit breaker CB1. And uh, for this uh, comparison purpose, we have other two approach based on neural network, chi-square score and support vector machine algorithm. So you can see that at equal to one, there is an attack on the relay current. And for this reason, the <coughs> excuse me, the current are increasing and uh, we have a ROC curve based on three approach, digital twin base approach, neural network and support vector machine. And we can see that our approach, uh, proposal approach is giving better ROC curve than the other two approach. And those are the detection time based on other two approach and including digital twin. And our approach can detect the attack faster than the other two approach. Uh, this is another example is, is, is uh, quite a bit uh, interesting uh, attack, uh, attack on the energy storage device. So here in this energy storage device, the attacker is ch changing the control command from charging to discharging and also re replay the data. So, so you can see that is uh, for this reason, it is hard to detect the data because he is changing the control signal from charging to discharging, but also replay the data. So it is difficult to detect the attack just observing the data. But uh, this uh, changing the signal from charging to discharging, it will change the power flow. And this is the current measured by the relay on the production feeder. So there is a discrepancy between the digital twin and physical system because the, the attacker changed the control signal for the physical system, but it was not changed for the digital twin. So there are some discrepancy on the measured relay current and it will change the power flow. And, uh, and this, those are the comparison for attack detection based on digital twin, neural network based chi square score and support vector machine. And our approach can detect the attack faster than other two approach. So those are the conclusions. So we have our uh, CPSR testbed, which facilitate the verification of the developed uh, distribution grid controller. Uh, and also we have a uh, we use the testbed for creating numerous fall and attack scenarios on the CPSR testbed. And uh, I already discussed the digital twin based attack detection strategy and which is implemented on the CPSR testbed. And the proposed <coughs> strategy is able to detect multiple types of cyber attack on the power distribution grid. And our plan in future to uh, increase the digital twin capability to locate the attack on the power distribution system and for a larger test system and implement it on our CPSR test bed. And thank you, any question please? And those are the QR code of our published paper, if you want to take a look. Thank you so much, Mohamed, for the, for the presentation. So we have, we have a space for, a, for one or two questions. So I'm going to, to start with a question from the, from the attendees, uh, the, from the virtual attendees. So the first question is, um, are you referring that the, the Opal RT is running the grid simulation as a digital twin? Maybe can you can you expand a little bit on, on what part is the digital twin and what part is the like the, the power system, like the real power system? So here uh, we have uh, Opal RT and there are uh, we separated the operation of the power uh, digital twin and the physical system in different core. So we are using the same architecture. Uh, and also, but the digital twin has its own uh, relays model on the uh, 
uh, operative core, but the physical system, it has real protection devices. So because uh, we are using the simulator for modeling and simulating the power distribution system in both uh, Opolati system to run in the uh, real-time simulation environment, but they are running in different core. Thank you, thank you. Um, do we have any questions from the, from the audience? We can, we can have a one last question from the from the virtual audience. So it says, um, what control algorithm runs uh, runs on the zones uh, in the Raspberry Pi? Uh, so, so here we are running a distribution. Uh, so the main controller is running in the in, main controller is running the main optimization problem, but the Raspberry Pi is responsible for running the machine learning based, for example, reinforcement running based algorithm. So it's not running the main optimization problem, but it's running more like a, a more like opti a machine learning based algorithm for the uh, for controlling the distribution uh, devices for energy storage and dispatching the energy storage and the controlling the reactive power of the PVs. Thank you. 